devices. Inspection selection material. Certain natural cells have much common names. They are schist, the solid feldspar, and mica, which have some non-solidic properties, some infectious properties, and quite as a material in the same. Traditionally, uh, for more modern using techniques which form the same with the contact with the oxygen light, then it is possible that this heat would have encouraged an evolution or a mild oxygen reaction between sand and light. The next is this was about the ozone materials that we used to make the ozone nuclear simple. Now the topic is cement. So cement is a fiber material which sets and hardens and can find other construction materials together. Like in the concrete, where the concrete is the mixture of cement aggregates, like fine aggregates and coarse aggregates and water. So must we mix the dry the different portion of the cement coarse aggregates and uh, the fine aggregates and we mix the in a dry portion that we get the more the materials or the chemicals present in the cement that reacts in presence of water and make this study that after the when the cement sets it becomes hard and bind the other materials other materials like uh, the coarse aggregates and fine aggregates to the cement sources construction can be characterized as being either hydraulic or non-hydraulic depending upon the ability of the cement that uh, are used in presence of water. The non-hydraulic cement which not set in wet condition or under water, the air which sets as it dries and with the carbon dioxide of the air. This is called the non-hydraulic cement. It can be attacked by some aggressive chemical after setting. The hydraulic cement is made by replacing the water cement in a mix when activated and facilitate ozone mass such as pyrox. The next is the uses of cement. The cement is used in the construction purposes as we all know. The cement for the purpose of the river by to make the Big ones to make the plastering, pointing, connecting, etc. Only for laying blocks, roofs, constructed lintels, beam, columns, staircase, pillars, foundations. Construction of important engineering structures like bridge, culverts, dams, tunnels, lighthouses, block towers, etc. Construction on water wells, dense form, septic tanks, land post, telco, elements, and also to join the joints of the pile. Manufacturing of precast pile, garden sets, artistically designed fence, flower posts, etc. As we are aware to mention that make the foundation of water tanks to and sometimes the CC moves can be made by the use of this cement. Now, the types of cement. There are two types of cement available in the market. The first one based on that composition of different materials. So, based on their chemical composition, the cements are described into two categories. The first one is the ordinary Portland cement, which is commonly known as the OPC. And next one is the ozolenic Portland cement, which is commonly known as PPC. So as far as the ordinary Portland cement is concerned, there are the following characteristic of ordinary Portland cement. The ordinary Portland cement is the most common type of cement which is generally used around the world. This cement is made by heating of limestone 
means calcium carbonate with small quantities of clays or other materials at 1450 degrees centigrade in a clay in a process known as calcination. The resulting hard substance which is known as clinker is obtained and finally this clinker is grounded with a small amount of gypsum which makes the ordinary Portland cement. The Portland cement is a basic ingredient of concrete mortar and most of the non-speciality grout. The most common use of the Portland cement is to produce the concrete, high strength concrete. The Portland cement may be of two colors, having uh, two colors. The first one is the gray, which is the most common color used in the construction industry and also the white, which is used as a uh, for the grouting of tiles or some cracks. This is the type of cement used in the construction. There is where is no exposure of sulfates in soil or groundwater. These are some basic property of OPC. A lime saturation factor is limited to between 0.66 to 1.02. Free lime causes the cement to be unsound. The percentage of aluminum oxide or ferric oxide is not less than 0.66%. Insoluble the residue should not be more than 1.5%. The percentage of SO3 limited by 2.5% C3A tricalcium aluminate should be less than 7% and loss of ignition that is maximum minus uh, 4% uh, it's 4% only and the percentage of magnesium oxide is 5% maximum and it should be less than 5% fineness not less than 1250 centimeters square per gram. So let's talk about the, some basic types of ordinary Portland cement. There are so many categories in which the, uh, this Portland cement is categorized for the specific purpose by changing its chemical ingredients, the various types of cements can be produced. The first one in, in this category is rapid hardening Portland cement. It is firmer than the ordinary Portland cement and it con contains the cal tricalcium sulfate and by dicalcium sulfate. <clears throat> this is stronger than the Portland cement. It achieves the strength in three days, same as seven days strength of ordinary Portland cement. It means the rapid hardening cement acquires more strength rapidly than the ordinary Portland cement. So it is recommended that Rapid hardening Portland cement is used in the columns and beams of the high rise building. The next one is the low heat Portland cement. The heat generated in the ordinary Portland cement in three days, it is approximately 80 calories per gram. While in the low heat cement, it is about 50 calories per gram. It has low percentage of tricalcium aluminate and relatively more dicalcium sulfate and less tricalcium sulfate than ordinary Portland cement. It reduces and delay the heat of hydration as per the British standard. Limit of the heat hydration of the cement, it limits. The basic advantage of low heat Portland cement is the curing. We can save the water by use of this low heat Portland cement. The next one is the sulfate resisting Portland cement. It is used in that locations where the sulfate attacks are more, in the atmosphere, the concentration of sulfate is higher, sulfur dioxide is higher, which reacts with the cement and causes a disintegration. Because when it reacts with the excessive sulfate, then it expands. And when the cement is expanded, it causes disintegration. So maximum C3A content by 3.5% and minimum fineness by 2500 square centimeter per gram. The clinkers of cement are down with about 60 to 65% of the slag and we obtain the sulfate resisting Portland cement by this process. The next one is the pozzolanic cement. As per the IS code, the proportion of the pozzolana may be 
10 to 25 percent by weight. Example, burnt clay, shell, or flies. The shell contains the calcium carbonate, which is used as a pozzolanic material in the cement. This cement has higher resistance towards the chemical agencies and to sea water because of absence of lime. So this is a special type of cement which uh, can be used uh, to construct the undersea construction and also in the chemical industries where the chemical attacks are comparatively high. It involves less heat and initial strength is less, but final strength after 28 days onward is equal to the ordinary Portland cement, it means OPC. It possesses less resistant to erosion and weathering action. It imparts high degree of water tightness and it is comparatively cheap, cheaper than the pozzolanic cement. Next one is the white Portland cement. Generally, white Portland cement, the color is due to the absence or presence of iron oxide in lesser quantity that is limited to less than 1%. And sodium alumina ferrite, that which is commonly known as crinoline sodium alumina phosphate, is added to act as a flux in the absence of iron oxide. It is quickly drying, possess high strength, and uh, mainly used for the aesthetic purpose only. The white cements are used in swimming pools, painting of garden furniture, molding, and sometimes as a grouting material it been, uh, to fill the space between the tiles. Next is the colored Portland cement. The colored Portland cement is made by adding some coloring pigment, and this coloring pigment is required sometimes in the temple where we make the floor designer. So just to create the design, just to prepare the colored or designer flooring, we use some pigments which is added to the cement and coloring material that varies from five to 10% based on the color requirement. As per the requirement, we add the pigment and we produce a colored cement. This, this is available in the wide variety like the red, yellow, sometimes green, and in the previous time, it was widely used in the drying rooms, etc., to make the clothes. The iron oxide in different proportion gives brown, red, or yellow color. The colored cement are widely used for finishing the floor, windows, sill slab, stair treads, etc. The next one is the expensive cement. The name is given due to its expensive property. It expands when placed on the side. This type of cement is produced by adding some expanding material like sulfur aluminate. When we add the sulfur aluminate, the volume of the cement is expanding. The expanding cement is used for the construction to the water retaining structure or to repair the damage of concrete surface. Suppose we find a crack in a concrete column or B. So we use this expensive cement, we just grout the cement and after the reaction with the water, it expand. And after the expansion, it fills the gap and fill almost all the pores and does not allow the water to go inside to penetrate. Next one is the high alumina cement. The cement is produced by grilling clinkers formed by calcining of bauxite and lime. It can stand with high temperatures. It, if it evolves great heat during setting, and it's not affected by the frost. The next one is the composition of clinker by which we are preparing this cement material. The various constituents combine in burning and form cement clinkers. The compounds which are required to make the clinker is known as the bog compound. The bog, this name was given because the scientist whose name is Bob, who identified this material. These compounds are as follows. The first one is the commonly known as the allite, which is tricalcium silicate, C3S, belite, dicalcium silicate, C2S, and cellite, tricalcium aluminate, C3A, and phalite, tetra 
calcium aluminofarite. So these are the basic four kinds of material which is used to prepare the cement clinker. Tricalcium silicate. These are some basic properties of tricalcium silicate as it is supposed to be the best cementing material and is well burned cement. It is about 20 to, uh, 25 to 50% normally and about 40% of cement. In the 40% of cement it is used in this percentage only. It tenders the clinker easier to grind, increases resistance to freezing and thawing hydrates rapidly, generating heat and develops an early hardness and strength. So some more hard properties are there. The rate of hydrolysis of C3S and character of gel develop are the main causes of the hardness and early strength of the cement paste. The next is the dicalcium silicate. It constitutes about 25 to 40%, normally about 32% of cement. It hydrates and hardens slowly and takes long time to add to the strength. After a year or more, it imparts resistance to chemical attack. These are some more properties of that. The hydrolysis of C2S proceeds slowly. At early ages, less than a month, C2S has little influence on strength and hardness. The next one is the tricalcium aluminate. These are the properties of tricalcium aluminate. Like it is about 5 to 11% and normally it constitutes 10.5% as a whole. It rapidly reacts with the water and is responsible of flash set of finely grounded clinker. The rapidity of action is regulated by the addition of 2 to 3% of gypsum at the time of grinding cement. So gypsum may be as additive or the base, you can say. The tricalcium aluminate is responsible for the initial setting time, high heat of hydration, and has greater tendency to volume changes causing cracking. The last one, tetracalcium aluminoferrite. It consists of about 14% normally as a whole, it is 9% of cement. It is responsible for flash set, but aggregates, but generates less heat. It has poorest cementing values. Rising the C4 air means tetracalcium aluminoferrate content, it reduces the strength slightly. The heat of hydration is 420 joule per gram. So this is about my topic, the pozolanic material and the cement. And the, for the next lecture, we will discuss about lime and mortar and thanks to all of you for sparing your time to listen my lecture carefully thank you we'll meet you with the lime mortar with new topic till then goodbye